carve away where the, um, where I don't want the uh, the color of the brown and the blue torch. So that adds a different aspect too. But generally, I like to keep all the um, natural colors characteristic of the antler. I try not to get away too much from so that you don't recognize that it actually is a deer antler. This one right here is kind of hard because I just left the tips on this one with a feather here, but. I put a high gloss on them, I put polyurethane on the tops of them. And so I just try to uh, uh, basically just try different things out. How long does one of these take? Oh, um, it depends on the detail. I think this one here, was, I think there was about 16 hours put into this one right here. And I think in this one there was 12, I think. So I try to keep track. Um, I think that's what I remember off the top of my head. This one was about 12, yeah. So it just depends on the detail. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been doing this for five years. About five years. Probably really aggressively about two years, actually. So for the first few years, I just kind of played around. And then the past couple of years, I just kind of tried to get more, um, get better, I guess. Uh, my name is Brandon Bennett. And I am maze artist. I, you can actually go from the start to the finish in each of my mazes that I have. Um, I've been doing this for 20, 20 years almost. If not, you know, I'm 26 now. I've been doing it probably since I was like three years old. So, you know, and uh, I just recently started getting into pictures. Before they were just all jumbled up different colors and stuff like that. But now I'm starting to do pictures. Um, I reproduce the starry night, and that's a maze that you can get through. I um, do logos. I even, I made my shirt. Let's see that. I um, most of what I do is all in pen and ink. But over there, behind you guys, I have um, one that I did as pastel. My name is Judy Schiller, and I'm a full blood of Seneca Wolf Clan from the Cataraugus Indian Reservation. I grew up here, just across the creek, and ever since I was little, I always was making something. We have play pots along the creek, and I used to make a lot of stuff out of that. And as I grew up, I majored in art in high school, and I have a BA in art. And later on, I went on to get a, a BS in elementary education. But my love is impressionist painting, and that's what I my focus used to be. When I came back to the reservation to raise my family, I have uh, four girls, 11 grandchildren, one great-grandchildren, and they all live here. And uh, they're very dear to me. But living on the reservation, um, there wasn't a big demand for a precious painter. And at one point, one of our corn husk doll makers showed me, uh, Denise White Pigeon, showed me how to make this little doll here. Now normally, with the corn husk dolls, they make the frame and the head. And then they make clothing that they bead and everything. And But I went more for the clothes made out of the husk and their headdresses made out of the husk and it's more like a uh, soft sculpture. So I've been doing this for quite a while now, and um, I get an idea from mainly looking at the material and working with the husk. I got the idea of doing the tree and braiding the roots and things like that, something that would work. And making, this is the tree of peace, which is representative of the Haudenosaunee, has the six tribes, and this is the here is Seneca. He's right here. And if you notice, there's some little hatchets on the bottom. Uh, the Benjamin Franklin uh, got the phrase, bury the hatchet from the Iroquois Confederacy, from their tree of peace. Because when they made peace, they buried the hat, their hatchets underneath the tree of peace. So there's a symbolic uh, hatchets underneath the tree. I try to include as many de details as I can. It's kind of a small medium to work in. And so while I'm doing this, because the art show came up and I joined the art guild, I decided I like to do big stuff. You know, like my painting, 
and so I did a bigger guy. And he's a traditional dancer. He has the Seneca vomit. He has a turtle rattle and a feather for his thing. And he's dancing. The uh, dolls themselves are not any, uh, doesn't reflect any religious aspect or anything. They made a lot of things out of corn husks. They used everything that they had in some way, and this was one way of using the husk. So it's, um, it's, more, it's considered a doll. It's a doll. And um, I really enjoy making them, and I look forward to doing more. Uh, uh, my name is Carson Waterman. Um, I was born on the Cataraugus Indian Reservation, uh, Seneca Nation, Snipe Clan. As you know, since the recession, everything stopped, and that was like about three years ago. So since then, I've been just producing smaller works, as you see here. Uh, this is uh, uh, a friend of mine purchased this piece, and she's a, an attorney. Um, her name is Jen Widger, and I rent uh, my studio from her, uh, my studio space from her in uh, Salamanca. I'm, I'm located on Main Street, south of the river, um, and I've been there for, I'm not sure, more than maybe 15 years. And uh, that's where I currently produce most of my work. Um, there are some things that I'm uh, anticipating, and I'm producing some more commercial works um, that, that I'm hoping to market uh, nationwide, and I have someone I'm working with on 